Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. From the version 4.0 of our plugin GIF WooCommerce Request a Quote, we have introduced a new and powerful PDF builder. Yes, we have listened to your feedback and now it will be possible to create add-up templates for all the quotes of your shop. Now you will be able to create unlimited templates and use them according to your needs. For example, you can create a custom template for Christmas, another one for Valentine's Day and so on. So let's go ahead and see how we can manage this new PDF builder. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now let's start! Ok guys, here we are inside our plugin GIF WooCommerce Request a Quote. First of all, it is important to mention that if you already have the plugin installed on your site and you're only updating it, in order to use the new PDF Builder, you will have to activate the related option. For this, we would need to go over to Quote Options, then click on Quote PDF. Then from here, we need to scroll down to this section, PDF Quote Templates, and in this first option, PDF Template to Use, we need to choose this option to create and choose a custom template. Then, once we do, we will see available this new tab, quote, PDF templates, from where we will be able to manage the PDF builder. However, on the other hand, if you are installing the plugin for the first time, then this new tab will be already available by default. Now, let's go ahead and open it. Inside this tab, by default, you will find one template already available. This one, the simple template. And at the moment, as it is the only one available, it is the one that will be used for the quotes. And in fact, as you can see over here, we can read this in use label. But from this tab, we will be able to easily create our new add up templates. For this, all I wanted to do is go ahead and click on this button to add a new template. So let's go ahead and click on it. Then we will see this new page from where we can create and customize our templates. First of all, over here you will find all of these preset template styles to choose from. As you can notice, some of them have different backgrounds, different styles and graphics. For example, if we select this one, then we'll be able to immediately see it right here below so we can start to customize it. But also, if I scroll back up, we're going to find over here at the beginning this standard template, which is the one that I'm going to use for today's example. So, to begin, let's go ahead and enter, first of all, our template name. And in this case, very simple, I'm just going to enter test template. So now we're ready to start customizing it. So, as you may notice, we have used Gutenberg for our PDF builder, which makes this process very simple. From here, we will be able to add any Gutenberg block we may need, for example, paragraph, image, heading, among others. But also, we can add the blocks by clicking on this button, which will open up this sidebar with all of the Gutenberg blocks that are available, and also it will display our JIT blocks. Let's have a look at the options we can find here. We have product table, total table, quote number, accept, reject buttons, date, and customer info. So, let's say that we wanted to add this one accept reject buttons to our template. In this case, all that we need to do is drag and drop it in the position where we want to display it on our template. And just like that, we have included a new block. Also, we can take a look at the different options that are available for these blocks that are already inserted. For example, as you can notice, if I select this one, then over here in the sidebar to the right, we're going to find additional options to customize each block. For example, in the case of this one, our customer info block, you will have available all of these placeholders to decide which information of the customer you want to display in the template. For example, if you wanted to add a placeholder, all that you need to do is select it, copy, and then move over here and paste it. Then, on the other hand, if you would like to remove any of these placeholders, all that you need to do is select them and then delete them. Also, you will have other options available to customize this block, such as the color. You can decide on the color for the text, for the background, set the dimensions of the margin, the padding, typography, and so on. Also, let's have a look at another example. Then, if we select this other block, which is our product table, you will have options to customize the information that you want to display in the table. For example, you can decide if you want to show or hide the product thumbnails, 
Then same for the product name, SQ, quantity, price, total. Then you can further customize the color for the titles and for the items. And just like we have seen these settings for these blocks, every other section of this template can be fully customized. Now, for the moment, I believe we can leave this template as it is so we can continue and publish it. So we click on this button. Here we go. Perfect. And now if we go back to our templates list, we can see our new template right here, test template. And in order to show you the final result, what I'm going to do is actually click on this button to select it so it will be displayed for our quotes. Now to see an example, let's go over to our request tab. And from here, we have created some sample requests. We can select any of them, for example, this one. And from here, if we scroll down, we will have this option available to see the PDF preview. So let's go ahead and click on it. And here we have it. This is the new template we have created and the one that the users will receive with all of the details of their quote. Now, as we have mentioned previously, you will be able to create as many templates as you wish to use in different occasions. For example, Christmas, Valentine's Day, or any other occasion you may require. So we can try now a different example. For that, let's go back for a moment to our plugin. And over here, we can easily change the template we want to use as we saw previously by clicking on this use it button. So now the template that will appear for our quotes will be this one, the simple template. Now, quickly, let me show you the options that you will have available for each template. Over here, you will be able to edit it, duplicate it, or delete it. Now, let's go back to our Request tab so we can see the new result with a different template. Again, we can open the quote for Emmett Brown. Over here, we scroll down one more time up to the Preview button, so we click again. And now, as we can see, the quote is displaying on a different template. Finally, besides the options we have seen today, we will be adding some new templates and some other options, such as the possibility of changing the background image. But for the moment, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!